Hello, it's Stephen Pilditch here. We're just looking at question six, ACA, Mass GCC Higher Tier Paper 1, June 4th, 2007. Um, the diagram shows two triangles A and B describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So the question is, how did this um, triangle A transform to here? And we can see that um, this is a right handed triangle, the right angle is here, and this is also a right angle triangle with the right angle here. And we can see that this point here matches up with this point here, this point here matches up with this point here because it's on the right angle. And this long diagonal goes down to this point, the third point on this triangle, matches up with this point here. So a good way of finding transformation is to link those lines up that match. And uh, we'll do that now. We'll match that line up with that one. Match this one up with the one right angle triangle on that one and match this one up with this one and what do we see there we see a point oh sorry Sorry, I just deleted a line by mistake there. Uh, what do we see there? We see a point here where all those points that we drove through, uh, draw through, uh, join up. And that is the center point. That's the point of where the transformation occurred. And um, what we see here is that go from this point here to, to this point we see that we go two across and one up if we go to the same point on the other circle we go one two three four five six so six in the x direction instead of just two for that one and one two three three up instead of one up in that case so what we found is that the transformation is actually is got three times smaller and you can see that on this triangle here this is one two whilst this one is one two three four five six so that's six in length that is two in length two times three is six so we've got one third smaller and similarly this is only one in length this this uh, length here whilst this one is one two three so it's three times bigger so we've got here the transformation for a center point here um, and we've transformed it in by one third if we did transformation the other way then it'd be times three three times bigger now we go on to question B on the diagram draw the image of triangle A after it is reflected in the line y equal x label your image c well y equals x that is the point where y equals x x x equals 1 there y equals 1 x equals 2 there y equals 2 if we go all the way up to this one x equals 8 there y equals 8 is there 
we draw if we join all those points up the blue line or choose another color now maybe orange okay join it up with that one there you go that is the line y equals x okay now let's look draw the image a triangle A after it's reflected in the line y equals x so this one will be reflected so if we go one here that's one and a half if we keep going down half half we get a point here If we go here, this point is going to be reflected this way, one, one and a half there. Keep going, it's that point there that I drew a line previously. Uh, if we reflect this one, we go one, two, three. So now we need to go one, two, three. We go to this point here. Now we can join those three points up that I just drew on the diagram. Going there, going there, oh sorry too far, uh, mistake there, I just need to correct that. And there we have a triangle that's been reflected in the line y equals x. We need to label that as c. So we'll label that as c there. And it's got the point. This point here is 2, 5. 2 for the x, 5 for the y. This point is 8, 5. This point is... 8, 2, 8 for the x, 2 for the y, and that is our question done, and full marks there, and we move on to the next question.